Okay, so I've been playing around with overclocking the GPU and uh, this is my 4 gig Pi with a Pi Moroni fan shim and as you can see I'm using an SD card to uh, make sure the Pi Moroni makes a good connection. So let's switch over to screen capture. Okay, so if I show you what the overclock settings I'm using are at the moment. Uh, so if I go into NeoFetch, uh, you can see that I'm running at 1.5 gig and it shows that it's a 4 gig Pi. But also, if I go into the config.txt, you can see that I'm using the GPU at 950 and uh, the over voltage is 13. And you have to use force turbo if you're overclocking more than six. Uh, so that's why that line is in there. Uh, I'm not overclocking the CPU. Uh, I'm just testing out the GPU and seeing how much difference it makes basically. Uh, a 950 does seem to be pretty stable. I don't know if it's an improvement though over some lower clock speeds. I did try a thousand. Uh, in fact, let's try a thousand again and see if I can get it to run because it occasionally runs. So if I I had success at an over voltage of 15. One, two, three. So control O, enter and control X. So that's reboot. Okay, so you can see it's failed there. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll put it back to uh, the stock GPU and stock CPU uh, and then start my test. Okay, so now I'm back to stock settings, uh, but I have got the uh, force turbo on, so it's gonna remain at 1500 all the way through. Okay, so let's go into games and use a bit of PPSSPP. So full screen, a bit of Grand Theft Auto Vice City. So let's just accelerate down the road and see what sort of FPS we get at stock, full screen, two times render, and you can see that it's definitely struggling, which is understandable. And let's do a spin. because this seems to really affect it. I think it's the smoke effect that really affects it. Okay, so that's enough of that. So let's exit out of that. And just to show you the, the settings. There you go. So I hashed out these lines so they don't take effect. So force turbo's on, that's the only thing that's on but nothing else is on. So the next setting I was gonna use is uh, 700 and an over voltage of four. So over voltage of four and the GPU frequency at 700. The stock is uh, 1500 for the CPU and 500 for the GPU. So we're going a bit higher, but not very much. Okay, so let's launch the game again. go straight down the road. So what we got 1822. Still pretty slow. But feels a bit less choppy. And do the spinning test. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is do them all split screen so you can see them all side by side uh, with the next two overclocks and this one. Okay, so I reckon from that, uh, certainly the 500 was, was the slowest of the lot. The 700 definitely was a good improvement. The 800 was a marginal improvement and the 950 isn't worth it for the amount of over voltage that you need to do. So when we look at the 500, there was no over voltage needed. The 700 I needed to go up to uh, four 
uh, but obviously if I overclock the CPU as well, I'm going to have to up that figure. The 800, I needed to go right up to 8, which is already in the territory of uh, invalidating your warranty, so overclock at your own risk. And the 950 just isn't worth it. And as we saw before, 1,000 doesn't work for me. Um, so I reckon, because I've been overclocking at 750 for a long time, I reckon 750 could still be the sweet spot uh, of being able to overclock the CPU and the GPU. So the setting I've used for quite some time now uh, and not because, well, other people have recommended it to me, I guess. Uh, but I've been using uh, over voltage of 8, arm frequency of 2147, and a GPU frequency of 750. So these settings are, yeah, I've been using for a long time. Uh, and so I think I'll try that again. Uh, with So we're, we're looking at it because we've got the CPU and the GPU overclocked now. And uh, I've definitely had this stable for a long time. So control O, enter control X. I need to reboot that to apply the settings. Okay, so let's go into NeoFetch just to show uh, where well, it shows up as 2294, two, two, but it is running, uh, well, I've overclocked here, 2147. Let's launch PPSSPP again. Now, all the time I've been running this at, uh, on the settings, I've been running it at, rendering resolution of three times PSP. I wouldn't usually use that, I would usually use two, uh, and in some cases even one. But I'm not using any frame skip, uh, and I'm on OpenGL because the Vulkan still isn't that fast on, on this particular emulator. So let's go back in and have a look, exactly the same stuff. So now what we're looking at, 23. It's, I, see, I don't know if that's even better. And it also says it's running slow, which is interesting. It doesn't feel too bad. Battery, 30%. But you can hear the audio is choppy. So what I would tend to do on this is go into settings and change that down to two times. It's every now and then it's worth just resetting PPSSPP. I've had times when it's really slowed down a lot and going in and restoring settings to default definitely makes a good difference. So let's go back into load state. Now we're talking that 35, 32. So now it's perfectly playable. I was only using it on the three times because on quite a few of the settings they run at 30 anyway. But I did find that uh, the 700 and the 800 were the best performers in this resolution. Oh, nice driving. Anyway, a little bit of an experiment. I hope this helps. Uh, please let me know your own experiences with it. I'd be interested. But thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.